everyone! Today's how-to video will be a bit about After Effects and a bit about AV in general in the Adobe Suite. I'll be going over various ways to use audio in After Effects today. To start, it should be noted that After Effects isn't the best when it comes to audio. For reasons that are beyond me, Adobe has never decided to optimize it while still leaving features in that suggest that they would. If you have audio in your comps, you can run it together with the video by starting a RAM preview. This can be done in the RAM preview panel or with shift space by default, and it lets you do a full preview of all media in your comp. If you just hit the space bar, your animation will run through, but it won't be properly rendered and will be silent. An issue though is that the RAM preview chokes your computer's resources and will often go very slow even with a lot of RAM allocated for AETUs. Luckily, there is a workaround. One way of working with your audio without waiting for the RAM preview to run every single time is by using what's called markers. These are pieces of metadata that let you, you got it, mark times along your layer or comp. You can set them as you play through a RAM preview or a regular preview by hitting Control 8 as it goes. If you're using a Mac keyboard, that's actually using the Control button, and I have to say this is the only instance I've ever found a use for that to date. To make this even easier, if you're looking to mark specific parts of the audio, as you probably would be, you can actually take a look at the waveform of the audio, or the spikes in any recording as audio happens. To do this, you can unroll the audio layer and unroll waveform, or you can just tap L twice with the audio layer selected. For actual editing, you can also keyframe the audio levels of the layer, again by unrolling it. This is great for doing easy, quick fades. You can also do custom cuts on the audio by splitting the layer before and after you want to make the cuts. To split a layer, and this is for any layer in After Effects, move your cursor in the timeline to where you want to make the cut, and in the edit menu, click on split layer. Or, as a shortcut, just type Command Shift D on a Mac, or Control Shift D on a PC. Or you could just use the audio program Audition, if you've got the creative suite. Audition works seamlessly with Premiere and After Effects, letting you open and edit audio and see those changes without needing to reopen and update the comps or projects. Before we do this though, a quick note. When you open an audio file from your projects into Audition, you'll be changing that actual audio file. And once you close Audition, those changes are going to be part of that file, overwriting it without any way to go back that I know of which is not typically what you want. My recommendation is to make a backup copy of your original audio somewhere in your project folder just in case. With your audio thusly safeguarded, then we can go into Audition. To do this, select your audio file in the project panel and under the edit menu at the top, a ways down, you'll find the option to edit in Adobe Audition. Hit this and it'll open your audio in a program made to actually edit it. Because it's a single file, the audio will open in Audition's waveform editor. As opposed to After Effects though, you can easily drag along the timeline and find the audio you want live here without much if any waiting. By default, you'll even have a readout on the side for your audio levels and a larger waveform window to find any audio spikes or errors you might have. And because it's specifically made for editing audio, you can easily cut and or mute any part of it when you find them. To do this, just select the areas of audio and hit delete or backspace, or drag down on the small wheel that appears. You can also, because of those things I just mentioned, far more quickly and easily mark specific points in the audio by typing typing M on Mac or PC. For both tutorials and animations, I tend to use these as guides for where specific footage or actions should move and end without needing to constantly double check the RAM preview. Once you've made your changes, save and hop back over to AE. When you drag the audio file you've edited into a comp, the changes will show up. I will note though that once it's in a comp, it won't automatically update, so if you need to do any further updates, you'll need to delete that audio layer, then drag the audio file into your comp again after any new changes, which is why it's a good idea to try to get the audio out of the way when you can before getting to the animation or video, which as a personal anecdote has made my tutorial editing process a lot faster since I figured that out. And that was audio in After Effects. As always, I hope you've all learned something and enjoyed yourself doing it. If you have any questions, thoughts, or other feedback, you can let me know with a comment down below. You can also like this video and share it around, which helps with Google's rankings, and I'm planning to be back here every Friday, so be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Have a great day, everyone.